Promise the moon. One frightening and effective way to motivate yourself is to make an unreasonable promise to go to someone you care about, either personally or professionally, and promise them something really big, something that will take all the effort and creativity you've got to make happen. When President John Kennedy promised that America would put a man on the moon, the power of that thrilling promise alone energized all of NASA for the entire time it took to accomplish the amazing feat. In his book about the Apollo 13 mission, Lost Moon, astronaut Jim Lovell called Kennedy's original promise outrageous. But it showed how effective being outrageous could be. In his book Passion, Profit, and Power, Marshall Silvey recalls seeing a billboard in Las Vegas put up by one of the casino owners who wanted to become a non-smoker. The billboard read, If you see me smoking in the next 90 days, I'll pay you $100,000. Can you see the power in that promise? A couple of years ago I promised my children that I would send them to camp in Michigan. They had been to the camp near Traverse City before and loved it. When you live during the year in Arizona, there's something magical about the water and emerald forests of northern Michigan. It was an expensive camp, but when I made the promise I was doing well financially, and I was confident that they could all go. Then as the summer neared I'd run short of money and had to rearrange my priorities. My speaking schedule had replaced much of the commission selling I was doing and it looked like camp might not be in the picture. I remember specifically talking to my boy Bobby, who was 8 years old at the time. About how times were temporarily hard and how camp didn't look like a good possibility anymore this year. He was in the front seat of the car and I'll never forget for as long as I lived the look on his face. He said very softly, so softly that I could barely hear him, but you promised. He was right. I didn't say I'd try, I didn't say it was a goal, I promised. And the feelings I had at that moment were so overwhelming that I finally said to him, yes, I did promise. And because you reminded me that it was a promise, I will say to you right now that you're going to camp. I'll do what it takes. I'm sorry that I forgot it was a promise. The first thing I did was change jobs, and my first condition on accepting my new job was that my bonus for signing was the exact amount of money it took to send my children to camp. It was done. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe.